Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. In today's video, I want to share with you dangers of emotional trading and how to avoid it. Also, I want to show you how to have a winning trading mindset. This is a very important video. It will really help you if you're a beginner in trading or if you've been going through a lot of emotions. Yes, if you're a trader, you know we have these emotions when we place that trade so if you're interested continue watching so guys if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing give this video a big thumbs up and without wasting any time let's get down into the video if you have traded several times maybe you have lost uh several trades you know how emotional it can be you know how it feels it is so emotional you feel are so bad so emotional you're so attached with your trades and today i've decided to come here be clean be open with you tell you what to expect how to even be able to come over that feeling and be able to have a uh, very safe trades and be able to manage your emotions i remember when i was starting uh, when i started trading i will have emotions i will sweat i actually i was sweating like if i would place a trade and it was even going right i would make profit like i'll see i'm making profit i'm not on negative but my emotions were on the rooftop like i had so much info emotions that i would like look at the trades i'm like praying don't go negative i'm not losing money and eventually maybe i will lose that trade and i will have so much emotions so i know the feeling when i come here i know how it feels and if this is something that you're going through i'm here to help you and know how you can overcome these emotions how you can avoid it and at the end of the day have a, a winning mindset trading mindset because when you have emotions it comes from your mind so we need to to control the mind so that our emotions whatever comes from the mind be positive and be controlled you'll have emotion yes but it won't control you so the purpose of this video is to help you so let's start for let's start with number one number one thing okay the first thing that you need to understand whenever you place a trade if you're doing any trade if you go to place a trade keep it in mind that it's okay to lose you know when you're a beginner when you have started trading sometimes you don't want to lose and when you don't want to lose when you come with that uh, mindset you don't want to lose this is something this is number one thing actually that gives you a lot of emotions because if you see negative if you see red you know when you are in your mt4 platform if it is positive it is blue when it goes negative it starts coming red when you see that negative numbers in your trade you start feeling emotions because your mind is already like programmed i'm not losing and that's very wrong so the first thing that you need to do is to know that it's okay to lose it's okay love losing because when you lose you learn so much 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 so it's okay to lose even if you lose today you lose tomorrow what i can tell you is that check on your losses and what are you doing so that you can try to change so tell your mind even if i lose i will still uh continue with the trades first when you start doing that you'll start controlling your emotion so whenever you're entering the trade you're like even if i lose i'm here to stay and i'm here i will come back tomorrow my emotions will not get hold of me so the first thing is uh it's okay to lose just have that heart even if i lose I will it's it's there's another day this is just trading i'm trading and the better i become i will minimize my losses that's the first thing and then the second thing is risk management something that i didn't know when i was starting i've done so many videos trying to tell you what i didn't know when i started forex trading is about risk management i didn't know that i was supposed to risk two percent of my account i didn't know i'm supposed to risk two percent guys i would risk 
20%. So if a trade would go wrong, I would lose 20% of my account and I had started with a $100. So I was risking $20. So when you know back in your mind that you're risking too much, 20%, of course you'll have emotions because you just need five trades to go against you and you blow your account. Already the mind knows that. So if you start seeing negative, you will be like, I don't want negative, I don't want negative, I don't want negative. And I remember when I started trading, whenever I will go at negative, I started saying, I'm not losing, I'm not losing my money, I'm not losing, I'm not blowing my account because my mind knew the risk that I had taken, it's so huge. So what, what you can do to avoid this, you start having a risk management. Risk only 2% of your account. 2% of uh, $100 is $2. If you risk $2, can you have emotions on $2? Surely, if you're risking $2, of course the trade you want to give it maybe one is to two or one is to three maybe you are getting six dollars of that trade if it is a win so if you win you get six dollars if you're going for a ratio of one is to three if you lose is two dollars so comparing you are risking two percent you still have 98 percent of your account guys this is very important very very important if you manage on your risk the emotions will like drop like shh, drop so if you got placing a trade you have placed a trade you have told your mind it's okay to lose then the second thing i'm risking two percent of my account if i have a hundred dollar account i'm risking two dollars it's okay to lose this two dollars but if i win i will win six dollars if the ratio is one is to six uh, one is to three if the ratio is one is to five i'm winning ten dollars i was risking two dollars but i'm winning ten dollars now you have started to control your mind now the emotions are like shh, they have gone so the first thing you do it's okay to lose the second thing uh risk management check on that check on that and your emotions you'll be able to control your emotions you'll be able to have a winning mindset number three is to uh um trailing stop loss the, the i i remember something that i was not doing when i started trading forex i didn't i didn't know how to trail stop loss let's say you have uh, entered a trade and you you have put a stop loss i'm okay losing two dollars i'm okay losing twenty dollars so this twenty dollars the trade is going on well but remember if it can flip on you if that trade can flip on you you are losing twenty dollars twenty dollars remember you had seen positive you had seen maybe you had even made ten dollars what you can do uh, uh just uh, learn how to trail stop loss and i told you on the previous videos how do you trail stop loss you just make sure if you're if the, uh, your trade has gone to $10, just put your stop loss at even. So even if it goes, it flips on you, you'll come out of that trade at even. And then if it goes to $20, you can put your stop loss at $10. So your stop loss is at positive. Let me insist on that. Stop loss, trail, trail your stop loss so that even if it flips on you, you will come out of the trade with a positive small wins but small wins but you have saved your account you have saved your emotions you're not emotional so guys that is something that i didn't know when i started trading forex i didn't know i can trail my stop loss and it really costed me because i'll see i'm gaining i'm gaining i'm gaining then the market flops flips on me and then i'm in negative i'm emotional and you see when it flips is when it is retesting it will go up and it can take hours imagine being emotional for hours oh my god i was feeling sometimes i would even close the trade maybe at negative five dollars because i'm thinking i will go negative negative 10 negative 20 and when i close at negative the market start going up and i'm like what have i done so the the third thing you need to do is to trail your stop loss the fourth thing is move away from the screen okay so what i can advise you because you know as a beginner you can't just put a trade you put a stop loss you put a take profit and then not just go and say whatever happens the, i i as for me when i trade this is what i do i put my trade i put my stop loss i watch the market the first 30 minutes how is the trade was i right was i right with this trade and if the trade start going my direction i move my stop loss to my where i 
entered the first place so i'm at even this trade even if it flips i'm at even if i did mistake when positioning my uh when i entering so after the trade has gone like 50 pips my friend remove your stop loss to like half of those pips so you can now move away from the screen when you move away from the screen uh for me that the pair i trade i target 72 pips every trade per trade that i trade and it goes very fast so i target 72 pips if it reach 35 40 pips i remove my stop loss at negative i put it at positive and with that is my emotion like they drop i know even if i go to like do my errands i know even if the market goes up op opposite i will not lose money it's either i'm stopped out at even or at a small profit but it will never get me to a negative okay so uh the other thing the last the five things that you should do is work on your mindset sometimes you can do the four things i've told you you can um you can you can know it's okay to lose you can know by the trading is about losing gaining today you lose you can know that well and good you can have a good risk management you can be able to uh stop to trail your stop loss you can able to move away from your screen but at the end of the day how is your mindset are you do you have a winning mindset because it's all start in the mind yes you think it's okay to lose but how how do you talk to yourself when you're entering the trade are you always negative you know i used to be negative i used to be negative i used to be like these trades they always go wrong i would like there was a time i was trading this pair and i noticed if i i put a sell position i would sell i would have a sell position i would lose money and if i do a buy position i will gain money and i started convincing my brain <laughs> that all the sell position they make me lose money and do you know what if i did a sell position i would lose money and i said no no i cannot be telling my mind i will lose i started telling my mind even if you go negative i'll start i'll start making money either sell either buy any position if at all i have i have analyzed my the price well and the trades well i will make money either way and it changed it it's the way you talk you know that now comes with the confession so have good affirmation say today when you wake up say today my trades are going well today my trades are going well so that's all you can do to um to control your emotions i know it can be draining i have so many stories i'll be telling you how i have been dealing <laughs> the first two three months the way my emotions were everywhere i'll i would even cry there was a time i was crying like my trades i would this do this trade it's going wrong it was a, a a lot of hassle but i thank god that i know now i know what i know now and it has really helped me it starts with my mind if i start trading i know i will win i may lose but i'll lose just a small bit but if i win i win a big profit so guys and if i don't win or i don't lose i close my trades at a profit so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have um gotten something comment down below let me know what makes you so emotional and how did you do it to stop it if you're still emotional i'll suggest that you do the five things that i have told you i've shared with you if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to this channel i'm trying to help you uh, learn uh, some basics about forex i'm trying to share my experience these are some things that i have experienced i didn't read anywhere these are my own experiences and i hope they can help you so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up until next time bye bye love you